Hey there fellow Minecraftians, welcome to another video and today I'm going to take a look at the latest snapshot of Minecraft which is 12w50a. It just came out and there's a few new cool features so let's go ahead and take a look. Starting off with the biggest new addition, the 3D items. This has already been a mod for quite a while but it has been implemented into vanilla right now. When you drop an item on the ground it will appear in 3D as you can see right here. It is a simple addition but it just looks so good. And I really think this is a great decision to add this in. And also when you add multiple, like that, it will show two. And when I add some more, or quite a lot more actually. Let's see, there's, yep, there we go, it shows three and so forth. So when I pick this up, there's also a new feature. You can uh, hold control and then press Q. And that will drop the entire stack at once. Very useful if you want to give a stack of something in multiplayer. So you don't have to go into your inventory and blah blah blah. This 3D item thing only happens when you're in fancy though, so if you don't like it you can turn it off by putting it on fast. I would really like to see it so you can change every option individually, but you still can't so you're going to have to do it with fancy or fast. When you cycle through your items in your inventory, you can see the name pop up above the HUD for about a second or so. If you don't like this you can turn it off with a configuration file, I'll show you in the description how you can do so. Now another new small addition is that you can also find these enchanted books in dungeons and you can trade them with villagers, even though that is quite rare, I've spawned a lot of villagers but I couldn't find one that traded it, but maybe it's just my bad luck. Now let's move on to the next thing, which are fireworks, yay, there has been an update, I love these fireworks, so um, new thing is that they now have sounds and they have a new sort of glowy effect and I'll actually make it night, just so you can see it better. And it will look good and stuff. There we go. And when I just fire this clock up, you can hear sounds and the new glowy effect, which is really, really cool if you ask me. Let's see, let's take some out. Yay! <laughs> It just really, really looks awesome and I think this is my favorite addition in the last few snapshots. There also is a new enchantment called Thorns which can be applied to armor and this adds the possibility that any damage inflicted to you by a mob will return the damage to them. So basically it will add thorns to your armor and when for example a zombie gets too close it will spike himself and it will cause damage. So I'll show you because it's easier to show than to explain. So, like that. And I've already got something on, so like that. So when I get a zombie right here, and maybe it's better to change my game mode actually. Let's see. And as you can see, he also gets damaged right now. And that is the point of the enchantment, so that's pretty cool as well. Note that this of course does not apply to the skeleton, simply because he doesn't touch you. And the cool small bug fix enchanted items now also show up enchanted in item frames. And the last thing that I want to show you is that you can now also enchant shears with silk touch. So you get silk touch shears and with that you can actually collect, like this, cobweb. So this is the first time that cobweb is actually legitimately obtainable in Minecraft. Which is of course pretty cool because you can now make your house look all hunted and stuff. Well, that's about it for this snapshot. There were a few more things, uh, quite a few bug fixes, but these were the most important things. So for the rest I'd like to say thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.